very good morning uh, to our respectable lecturer, which is Dr. Rosemi, and to our beloved audience. So uh, for today, my group consists of five people, including me, uh, Nusra Fina Binti Jasni, and... Atira Binti Wong Wiso. Muhammad Anna Fakir Bin Saimi. Mak Zahin Bin Buang. Okay, so our group will be presenting about uh, ch chapter five, uh, statistical inference about the statistical inference. So without further ado, this is the raw data that we have created, which is uh, show the, the company performance between KFC and McDonald's and we have uh, other variables such as, such as gender and customer satisfaction and frequency of buying. So uh, we will be looking to the two test uh, hypotheses. Okay, so um, this is the two sample hypotheses which consists two variables, uh, which is fast food company and frequency of buying, which is uh, one would be non-numerical and the other one would be uh, numerical. So uh, we looked at the question uh, given it is a test a hypothesis that McDonald's perform less than KFC in their frequency of customer buying. So uh, if the question asks for test a hypothesis, we have to look for H1 since uh, it, it has to, uh, we have to look for, uh, we have to observe in the future. Okay, so, but if the question asks for perform a hypothesis, we immediately have to search for, for HO, which is our observation. So for step one, HO, uh, we could see that MACD is uh, better than KFC and H1 is, uh, MACD is lesser than KFC. So for uh, step two, we have to search for level of significance if the question didn't give any uh, level of significance, we have to assume that uh, the level of significance is 95%, which is 0 0.95. Um, uh, when we convert it into a decimal place, it is uh, 0 0.95. And we can see uh, after that, we have to look for sigma, which is 0 0.05, uh, which is considered at 5% uh, after we deduct the 95%. So uh, I will pass the next step to Atira Muhammad Yusuf. So hi, Assalamualaikum. So, okay, for step three is data analysis. You need to create the data first. So go to data analysis at the data section. Then search for t-test to sample assuming unequal variance. Make sure unequal, okay? Then we click OK and select variable 1. Based on the data, KFC is variable 1. Variable 2 followed by MACD. Then click label, put in 0 and yeah. Which are, uh, okay. You can choose either output range or new worksheet, but I choose the output range and I put it where you want to. Uh, yeah, we put it here. Uh, all right, so there you go. Uh, okay, uh, then we click, uh, after we get the result, highlight the, the main information that we need to use for easier to do step 4. Uh, for the main, the main is this, this step, uh, P value 1 tail, P critical 1 tail. Alright, okay, um, for step 4 is decision making. Um, because it's decision making, when we have two approaches, we start with critical value approach. The critical value approach, uh, we compare with this type. Okay. okay, then we differentiate either this type is bigger than CV or vice versa. Because we want to test MACD is lesser than KFC, make sure we put um, negative sign here. Alright, okay, so uh, we compare that this type is bigger than CV. Since they are bigger than, it should reject KHO because 
of they are within the reject rejection region. Next, for p-value, we must compare with sigma, which is 0 0.05. Uh, to can we see here, PV is less uh, less than sigma, 0 0.02. Uh, because of PV is lesser than sigma, we should reject HO also. For easy remember, p-value and critical value approach should be same, means reject HO. Okay, then for step 5 is the conclusion. So we conclude that uh, as a conclusion, we put that is sufficient evidence to suggest that MACD is lesser than KFC in the T test is has to reject HO. For two, uh, for two tests, we are done and we profit proceed to uh, Anaf and Zahin for key square. Thank you for coming. Uh, okay, thank you from Ad and Shafina. Okay, next we go to Chai Square test. Okay, first of all, uh, we go through to the question. So the question is perform a Chai Square test to determine if gender is independent or other mean is not related toward to their customer satisfaction. Okay, for the first step uh, is make a hypothesis for the ho we just write uh, the gender and the customer certification are not related or in independent uh, and for h1 the gender and the customer certification are related or dependent okay for uh, the second step is uh, choose a level of significant okay a uh, level of significant that we have must choose is 0 0.95 or 95%. Okay, for the sigma is 0 0.05. Same like uh, group art and fina. Okay, for the step three, data analysis. Okay, there has no data analysis like two steps. So we must make manual. Okay, first, we must make a pivot table. Okay, for make a pivot table, you just click at the raw data, go to insert, and choose pivot table. It uh, uh, it become like this. It show like this. Uh, then the gender we put in the into row. The customer activation we put into columns and value. Okay. So it show like this for the pivot table. All right. Okay. For in step three, there has three step we must do. Okay. First step is observe frequency. And see. All right. Okay. For observe frequency, we just copy what item that have in pivot tables. Just copy. So for me, I uh, sort into poor, from poor to very good. Okay. So we put in uh, the data uh, based on the private table. Okay. Next, uh, we go to expected frequency. Okay, for expected frequency, they have formula which is Total, grand total time, grand uh, grand total row time, grand total column divided by n. N is number of observation. This is the formula for expected frequency. Okay, how to get the grand total row? So, the grand total we uh, get from the observed frequency. Okay, they are at the right end of the right is the grand total row. This is for row. Okay, the below is grand total for column, for each in our variable. Okay, so how we want to uh, put the data? 
for example, okay, I make a data at poor for section. So, so grand total poor is uh, uh, for row we put first is female, right? Female time. Uh, grand total uh, column for poor. Divide by N. So, we get the same answer. So, we must do for each column to get the answer. After we finish, we sum all uh, all the data and the for the grand total, we mu it must seem like the observed frequency. So, uh, from this, the data for expected frequency is right or correct. Okay, next we go through to chi square color, uh, uh, chi square table. Okay, for the chi square tables, it also have formula which is uh, observe minus expected. Square, uh, Square, square div, uh, divide by expected. Okay. So the data we want to use is from expected frequency. So we take uh, poor for female X example how to create the data to get the answer. So the observed frequency, uh, the observed we get from the observed frequency just click here minus expected this okay power of 2 divide by expected so the answer same the answer same so uh, we are uh, you must do for each column to get the answer. After you get all the answer, you can uh, you must sum up and get the grand total. So for the grand total, the, uh, the answer is one point two five, which is uh, chi square. X two stand for chi, uh, chi square. Alright, uh, that's all from me. Uh, I will pass through to Zahir to explain the other. Thank you, Anna, for your outstanding explanation. So, guys, let's go for step four and step five. In step four, there are two ways, which is CV approach and PV value approach and P value approach. So, for CV approach, firstly, you guys need to find the degree of freedom, which is the formula is bracket R minus one uh, times bracket C minus one. R is standing for row. Uh, the total of row we can we can take at the any table in step three. Example, uh, in the chi square, uh, there are two row which has which is female and female two minus one. While column, uh, we take poor, average, good, and very good. The grand total column is exclude. Uh, then when we time, we get the answer. Uh, after that, uh, we must find the critical value. The formula, the formula for CV is C, uh, equal to CHISQ uh, INV dot RT, then time of the probability, which is sigma, and degree of freedom. After that, we will get the answer. Uh, CV approach, uh, as been mentioned, uh, enough had mentioned, X2 is a symbol for chi square. Uh, we get the uh, we get the value based on the table. Next CV, uh, 7.81 after we already count on the top. If X2 uh, less than CV is failed to reject HO, but if X2 more than CV uh, need to reject HO. However, in this question, uh, the answer is failed to reject HO because X2 is less than critical value, which is chi square is less than critical value. Next, P value approach. Okay, P value approach. There are a formula to calculate p-value, which is equal to chisq.test 
then in bracket uh, actual actual range actual range we take at the uh, observe at the observe frequency uh, we take all the value exclude the grand total value and uh, exclude the grand total value uh, then for the expected range uh, we take at the expected frequency only the value uh, exclude the grand total column and row after that we times and we will get the answer the sigma 0 0.05 has been mentioned uh, as we mentioned Ahnaf at step number two so if p value more than sigma fail to reject ho but if p value less than sigma uh, uh, need to reject ho however in this question uh, the answer is fail to reject ho this is because p value is less than sigma uh, the last step is uh, to make the conclusion in step five so we conclude that based on the evidence given the gender and customer satisfaction and independent uh, are not related so guys uh, that is only uh, for our presentation presentation today uh, we already explained about chi square test and uh, to safe anti test so we hope uh, you guys can learn something and get something from it with this we thank you